What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review on the Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger action figure. If you're trying to pick up these Pacific Rim figures, you can do so at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big, big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, be sure to check out their YouTube channel, link in the description below. And we have Gypsy Avenger right here, not Gypsy Danger. Very cool. I'm excited to see what happens. We get a nice image of Gypsy Avenger. Now on the back right here, you can see an image of Gypsy Avenger. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. There's the other figures from this wave of three. And then there's nothing on the side, nothing on the top, nothing at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Gypsy Avenger out of the packaging. And I like this figure already. I really like this design choice too. It really does play a good nod to Gypsy Danger. But you know, we have Gypsy Avenger now. There's a lot of accessories that come with this particular figure. There's another version as explained from the New York Toy Fair interview with Zach O that comes with less pieces, but this one does come with all the accessories. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll get a closer look at Gypsy Avenger. So here's all the accessories that come with this version of Gypsy Avenger. Remember the Toys R Us version only comes with two accessories. This one comes with all of these extra arms that you see right here and they connect at the bicep, which is very interesting and it's pretty cool. So you have these regular forearms right there. Uh, by mistake, I actually actually had gotten two fists for the right side so there's supposed to be an open hand on the right side as well as a fist right there on the left side you can see I have the open hand and the fist and then we get this saw thingy which I, I'm not exactly sure what this is in the trailer it lights up orange and uh, was it obsidian bravo or I can't remember all the names at the moment I'll probably memorize them once I see the movie that mech has the light up orange on the blades too so it looks like a chainsaw that lights up orange and then same thing with this one on the right side so we get two of those and I really like the paint detail on these. I love that silver dry brushing. That makes me so happy. Very nice sculpted and painted details on here. And then we have the blast right there. I don't know exactly what this is called. <laughs> that charges up that we see in the trailer. Looking really cool. I wish it had some kind of a light up effect to it, but I still really like the details. That silver over the gray looks really good. So I'm still very happy with it. And then we also have this guy for the left side. It's kind of like a similar thing that we'd seen in the original movie. Very cool, very pleased with that. And then we also have uh, the sword that we'd seen uh, from Gypsy Danger, but it looks like Gypsy Avenger has the same sword for the left side right there. And just to demonstrate really quick, it can be tricky putting these on sometimes, and you can see that we do get indicators on them. So right here you can see there's an R sculpted on there, so for all of these you do get an indicator. I do find myself having to breathe on them just a little bit to warm up the plastic because it can be a little bit stiff. And then you have this joint right here at the elbow too, so that can make it a little bit tricky to get that popped in there. As you can see it's kind of stiff. And it's cold in this February garage too. So definitely using some heat, just a little bit, we'll get that in there and now it's in there. So yeah, now it's there and I could bend the elbow right there. So yeah, definitely want to give it a couple little hot breaths on your action figure. There's nothing weird about that. <laughs> So I gotta say, I really like everything about this Gypsy Avenger. I really like the sculpt of it, I really like the paint, I really like this design. Uh, just to compare it to Gypsy Danger, I mean you can see the similarities right here. You know, obviously very different, two different mechs, but yeah, yeah you, you can see how this is kind of like an homage to the Gypsy Danger. But looking at this, I really love that silver dry brushing that we're seeing throughout. We have some digits right over here. We get dual reactors, which I thought was kind of interesting. We got some nice orange paint bleeding into the yellow paint. That looks great. Nice good metal right over there. And I love all these picked out details with the lines throughout. That looks great. Nice gun metal. The visor looks really good. Really dig that head sculpt. I'm really liking this, man. A lot of details throughout, and it really does look like this was made from the same design team that had done that had done the previous Pacific Rim figures. You know, it does seem like it because this does fit in very well with my other Pacific Rim figures. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And sw swapping out the hands is very easy to do. I didn't show that off earlier, but yeah, they just pop off like that, and you just pour them right back in right there. 
than looking at the lower torso. And I have to say for this design, it's definitely a lot more effeminate looking than the Gypsy Danger, which I think is cool because, you know, the mechs are they're often regarded as females, so I think that kind of makes sense, you know, having a little bit more effeminate looking Gypsy Avenger. But looking at the legs right there, I mean, we just have this beautiful dry brushing throughout. I really love the sculpt and paint on this thing. I can just say that over and over because the more I look at it, the more I just feel happy looking at it. Oh, except for the very bottom of the foot right there. It's very flat, but we do get peg holes. Can't complain about that. And then on the very back, you can see we get some more silver paint. Looking really good throughout. I really dig it a lot, man. Now, while I love the paint sculpt and design of this figure, there are some things with the articulation that do bother me. But anyway, I just want to show that the head cannot move up at all. You can make her look down just a little bit, and you do get some side-to-side -side movement over here. Not a whole ton. It looks like we get a ball joint in the head and in the neck, so it will shift around a little bit. You do get some head pivoting as well. Uh, you do get a ball joint right here in the shoulders, so it can move forward and back and up and down. You can also move the shoulders outward, but this has gotten loose on me really quick, so that bothers me quite a bit. We also get ball-jointed shoulder pads over here, which tend to pop off when you're removing the arms, so expect that. Uh, you get a bicep swivel in there, then we get a single-jointed elbow for all of those different elbows, and then the wrists move side to side, and they hinge up and down. We also get a diaphragm joint right there, and we get some diaphragm pivot. It moves forward barely at all, moves back a lot more so. Hip joints move outward that far, and she will kick forward that much, back quite a bit. Uh, you get an upper thigh or a hip rotation right there. And then you get double jointed knees. Then the ankles will rotate side to side. They move down a little bit, up some, and you do get ankle pivot. And I do need to mention that the legs have gotten fairly wobbly as well. So that's one problem with this piece is the articulation does get a bit loosey goosey. Then for your mech comparison, here's Gypsy Avenger next to the NECA Toys Gypsy Danger. And this looks way taller than the Gypsy Danger. They don't look like they're in scale. But if you see the other mechs coming out from Pacific Rim Uprising, those do look a little bit more in scale with this Gypsy Danger. So yeah, stay tuned for those reviews coming up later on. And then comparing Gypsy Avenger next to your average 6 inch scale figure, here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. <coughs> oh, I'm sick. I don't want to fight. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay right here and just, just. Uh... I want to thank you guys for watching my reviews from all the way from the beginning to the animation at the very end. I actually am pretty sick right now. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Hit the like button if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as hitting the notification bell. I gotta say, I really like this figure a lot, man. I do have my problems with the loose joints. That's my biggest gripe with this piece. And plugging in those arm pieces can be a little bit more troublesome than I want to be, but not bad enough for me to not like this figure. So this thing totally deserves a sud rating of it's not so bad. I'm curious to know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Stay tuned for reviews on the other two mechs that are out from Diamond Select Toys. I will be reviewing them later on. Also, if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at toynewseye.com and shardimusprime.net. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.